Hi, my name is Rosie Flores Folland, and um, I am discussing discussion number one um, on chapter two and pages 140 and 141, um, evidence-based practice. And um, what I got out of this is, um, first of all, that the acronym CHOW, um, knowing your client characteristics, intervention being considered, alternative interventions, if any, and outcome as a practicing uh, MSW intern in my um, internship right now, I do have a caseload and uh, what I've noticed is not, not all evidence-based practices work and um, you have to know your client and um, know exactly, like build a rapport with them um, and I do, I also run a group called Seeking Safety and that's an, also an evidence-based practice, but will not work with one of my clients, especially because um, she does not suffer from substance use. So um, it's important to know, build a rapport with your client and kind of know um, what, you know, what their beliefs are, if you can get that, um, you know, what their culture is and, um, be based on that because um as i was reading in through the chapters and in the christian um chapter 17 is that um not all evidence-based practices will work and sometimes no evidence-based practices will work and this um they want to know questions you know why did this happen to me why did god let this happen to me um if they believe in god you know things like that might come up and then you have to really rely on um the rapport that you've built with your client and know uh, what their beliefs are and use that and kind of guide them in the direction so they can and empower them to see their own truth um i, I believe that motivational interviewing can be um used when using a faith lens um, and answering some of those questions, if those should arise. So um, I really like this chapter. It was really good. Thank you.